Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to weekly Korean life class. My name is Kejin. 안녕하세요, Kejin입니다. And 안녕하세요, 침치입니다. Hello, everyone. And today I feel like my face is very red. <laughs> It's because outside is very 추워요. 추워요. It's very cold. And when I come in, come inside, it's very warm. So my face is 빨개요. <laughs> 빨개요 is red. I don't get drunk. Don't worry. It's just because of the temperature. So 안녕하세요. Uh, Chris, Kwati, uh, Michael, and Powell, and uh, Sumi, Fati. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. And Katie, of course, you are here. So Today's topic is -da 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 -da! Yes, summary of 2023 in Korea. Yes, can you believe that the year is ending very soon? I can't believe time flies. <laughs> But today's lesson, in today's lesson, I'm going to summarize what happened in Korea. Many things happened, really many, many things. <laughs> But I picked some of them, so today's lesson Today's lesson will be easy for any level. So please keep watching this video until the end. Even if you don't understand any Korean words, it should be okay. It should be very easy. 안녕하세요, Emily, Grace, Glory, Nikhil, Indu, Acid Great. Ah, 감사합니다. So Merry Christmas. <laughs> so Merry Christmas in advance. Yes. Kailon, 안녕하세요. And, uh, Hungary, hello, and Aria, good, good, and we have a cat here, God. <laughs> okay, so before starting our lesson, I have 공지사항, 공지사항, 공지사항이 있어요. I have an announcement, which is, ta-da, yes. <laughs> Now we are doing this, John, free giveaway, yes. If you click the link in the description, you will see a page like this. Here, you will be able to download ta -da, this free core word ebook. Here, you can find the 2,000 words and phrases with all the examples, with the meaning, English meanings, and even the romanization. So, check it out. This is completely free. So, <laughs> it's very, very useful to learn Korean. Because, you know, when you learn Korean, I mean, even another language, you need vocabulary and phrases to speak fluently, right? And this book is free. If you are a member of Korean class, well, Korean class 101. <laughs> If you're not a member, please sign up. Signing up is free. We have a paid membership, but don't worry. To download this, this, da -da, word, whole word ebook, you don't need paid membership. Okay, great! <laughs> oh, Sumi, I'm happy to hear that. And Trevong, 안녕하세요. Pratisha, hey! And DR. <laughs> And uh, Grace. Okay, so let's start our lesson because I have many, 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 many things to talk about today. John, first, let's talk about Korean news headlines in 2023. Do you know any Korean news in 2023? This year, ta -da! of course, there are many news, but the first thing is this. Nurio 3차 발사 성공. Nurio 3차 발사 성공. So this is a news headline. So the words are a little difficult, but don't worry, don't worry. This is just for uh, intermediate and advanced learners. For beginners, you just need to see what happened in Korea. <laughs> so it's a culture lesson today. So what is 누리호, by the way? Do you know what is 누리호? 누리호? 누리호 뭐예요? 누리호? 누리호 is simple. 누리호 is 로켓. 누리호는 로켓이에요. 누리호는 로켓이에요. So it's rocket. Rocket. 누리. 짠. Rocket. Nuri. So, Nuri is the name of the rocket, and it's just a rocket. And yay! <laughs> Korea succeeded in launching this, this rocket. And what is 3차, by the way? 3차. 3차 뭐예요? 3차 means third. Third. 3차. 3차 means third. 
and 발사 무슨 뜻이에요? What does 발사 mean? 발사 means launch. So 3차 발사 literally means third launch. And 성공 means success. Success. Succeeded. <laughs> so yes, uh, South Korea succeeded in third launch of homegrown rocket. 무리, 무리. Jam. So what is this rocket? What is this rocket for? It has, do you know this word? In, 공, 위, 성. Yes, 인공위성. Oh, what happened to my iPad? <laughs> In the meanwhile, <laughs> In the meanwhile, Ah, it's running out of battery. I'm sorry, everyone. We'll be charging it in the meanwhile. But <laughs> so, what does 인공위성 mean? 인공위성. 인공위성 means satellite. Yes. So this this 누리호, this rocket has, I think, eight 인공위성. Eight, eight 인공위성. So they launched it. So Korea has now commercial uh, 인공위성 satellite. <laughs> People are laughing. <laughs> yeah, I love this kind of unexpected events during the live because it looks like it's real, right? <laughs> okay, so I I get the jam battery. <laughs> so let me open it again. Sorry about that, everyone. Jam. Yes. Sharing the screen again. Taran, yes, I'm back. Perfect. <laughs> so yes, so this is home. Uh, this is a rocket with satellite, and this is a very big news in Korea because uh, I think there are not so many countries that launch the rocket, and I guess there are like ten or seven countries, and Korea is now one of them. So congratulations, 축하합니다, 축하합니다. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hallyu, are you going to the moon next year? No, 100% no, because it's very expensive. <laughs> as far as I know, it's super expensive and literally I cannot afford them. Can you afford them, by the way? <laughs> I, I don't think anyone, I mean, there are some rich people, but I'm a super normal person, ordinary person, getting a monthly salary from the company. So I cannot go to the moon. 달, 달, 달에 갈수 없어요. 너무 비싸요. <laughs> okay, so what's the next news? Next news. 한국 아시안 게임 종합 3위. Oh, it's gone again. <laughs> so just going back to this one. So. What is Hanguk, by the way? Hanguk. Hanguk means South Korea. And Asian game. Do you know Ash Asian game? Asian game. Asian game is from the English word Asian game. So Asian countries do kind of our own Olympics. <laughs> our Olympics. And that's Asian game. Asian game. And Jonghap. Jonghap means overall or total. Total. And 3위, 3위 means third prize, third place. So in Asian games, Korea got third, the third prize. And Korea is very strong for several sports, several sports. For example, one of them is 수영, 수영. Do you know what is 수영? 수영, anyone? 수영 is swimming. <sighs> <laughs> I should not do that because I don't know how to swim actually. I should learn suyong, suyong. But anyway, something like this, right? <laughs> By the way, suyong sounds like swimming, isn't it? Just to me. But anyway, suyong means swimming. Another sport that is uh, very popular and strong, Korea is very strong for, is 사격. 사격. Do you know 사격? 사격 means shooting. 팍팍. 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 Yes, 사격 means 사격 means <laughs> shooting. Shooting. Korea is very strong for that. And we got 14 medals. Ah, 
medals, 14 medals. And for swimming, we got 22 medals. <gasps> That's good. <laughs> the other uh, strong sport for Koreans is penshing. Penshing. Can you guess what it means? Penshing. Penshing means fencing. We don't have F sound in Korea, so fencing. Fencing become penshing. Penshing. Penshing is 인기가 많아요. So fencing is very popular in Korea, and Korea is very, doing very well. So yes, we got lots of medals this time, and we got the third prize, third place. Congratulations! 잘했어요. <laughs> Katie, yes, uh, we are very similar. <laughs> I want to learn swimming someday because I think it's an important uh, survival skill, isn't it? And Sana, ah, are you going to uh, part? Uh, are you going to the Twice concert? <laughs> okay. Another event is this. Do you know World Cup? Rolled cup, rolled cup is a big thing in Korea, and rolled cup is from roll, 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 roll. <laughs> Can you guess? It's League of Legend. It's a game. It's a game. Ah, 가일론 감사합니다. So it's a popular game in Korea, and the cup is kind of like World Cup. You know, World Cup. <laughs> so. Uh, World Cup means the League of Legends World Championship, and we call this as esports. Esports. So you know, it's a sport. My avatars, my characters are doing sports. Like yay, yay, yay! <laughs> so they are doing the sports, but I'm not doing it directly. So it's esports. It's like electronic sports. So Korea is very popular for games. If you like, if you uh, like games, you probably know that. Koreans are very great playing games, using the computer games. And this year, uh, T1, T1 is one of the most stronger, one of the most, one of the strongest Korean teams won this uh, League of Legends World Championship and it's their fourth time. So, yay, congratulations, good job, Korea. <laughs> and do you know any popular esports player in Korea? I'm not really a game player. I don't really play a game. So honestly, I'm not, I don't know very well about the uh, like Korean games or players, but I know this person because this person is so famous in Korea. So his name is Peiko. 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 So Peiko is just a, a very famous, <laughs> very famous uh, player for League of Legend. League of Legend. Okay. <laughs> so, ah yes. So I'm sorry, everyone, about the uh, iPad issue. So instead, we will show the page like this. <laughs> So is that okay, everyone? So John, let's make it big. I wonder if you can make it like slideshow or something. We are testing some things. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So yeah, let's see the. Uh, I think we can not the full screen, but we can use it uh, like different way. If you. Click the button in <laughs> like this button. You can make. Uh, we can choose another option. Could you try that? I'm trying to solve the issue. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of the making the full screen, you can make the full browser. So in the meanwhile, let me keep talking about <laughs> the World Cup. So yes, the Paker is uh, belong to the team T1 T1 and. Yay, they want. World Cup is a really big thing. So if you like the games, check it out. And esports is also very popular in Korea. So when you watch TV in Korea and if you changing the TV channel, then you will see esports channel for sure. So esports channel. 
Okay, now it's time to talk about popular Korean TV series this year. Yay! What TV series, what Korean dramas did you watch this year? Do you have any, <laughs> any uh, examples? I picked some of them, but I'm sure you have other dramas that you love so much. <laughs> Sana, yes, hopefully if I have money. <laughs> True. Okay, so first drama. I hope you still see me. Do you see me? <laughs> so first drama that was a big thing in Korea is The Glory. The Glory. As you can guess, it's from the English word. So it's The Glory. The Glory. The main character was Song Hae Kyo. Song Hae Kyo. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know this name because she's very popular. She was featured in many Korean dramas such as Full House, Full House, <laughs> or Taeyang e Hue, Descendant of the Sun. I don't know the English title very well because I always see the titles in Korean, but something like that. And the keyword for this uh, drama is 복수. 복수, 수미바티. Exactly, it's the glory and it's 복수. 복수 무슨 뜻이에요? Do you know what 복수 means? 복수 means revenge. Yes. So actually this is a very, uh, it's not a like romance and fantasy <laughs> drama, but yeah, it's a very well-made drama, and if you want to see how Song Hye Kyo does 복수, 복수, then check it out. <laughs> okay, and I, di I, I actually didn't watch The Glory yet, but of course, if I have a chance, I want to watch it. But it's on Netflix, 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 and I don't have Netflix account. <laughs> so, when I uh, borrow, uh, when I go to my parents' house and borrow their device, <laughs> I watch that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pratisha, if you like the bright and happy dramas, this is probably not the best one for you because it's rather a little bit dark. <laughs> and another popular drama in Korea is Mobom Taxi. Mobom Taxi. Mobom Taxi means uh, Deluxe taxi. So it's not a normal, ordinary taxi, but it's more like a luxury taxi, expensive taxi. So it's a title, it's just Mobom Taxi. And Mobom Taxi 2, by the way, there was Mobom Taxi, Mobom taxi 1 and Mobom Taxi 2. And Mobom Taxi 2 was popular. Oh, area moving. Ooh, I see. <laughs> so the Mobom Taxi Two is the one that uh, was released this year and it was very popular. So, do you know Lee Jae Hoon? Lee Jae Hoon. Lee Jae Hoon. He is a popular Korean actor and he was the main character. So, he works as a taxi driver and he, uh, he do the service called kind of like revenge call. So some clients are uh, struggling from something bad. So this taxi company is trying to help the client. So practice exactly. Mobom taxi. Mobom taxi is another one. And do you know any other uh, Korean dramas? I wonder if anyone will say this drama that I'm going to say. My demon. Ah, I see. Sumi, oh, you watched The Glory. Did you like it? So the last one that I choose is this, Kindorend. Kindorend. Yes, it's also from the English word king. King, you mean the king, <laughs> the land. King, the land. Kindorend is a Korean pronunciation. And this drama is a romantic comedy. So it's a rom romance, dra romance drama in Korea. So it's romance drama and do you know who are the main characters? One is Lee Jun-ho. Lee Jun-ho. Lee Jun ho is from 2PM, the Korean idol group. And the female character is Im Yoo-na. 
임유나 임유나 is from 소녀시대 소녀시대 girls generation and beautiful <laughs> beautiful oh, actor and actresses ah yes it's here here we go so we have kinderland yes kinderland so 임유나 is hotelio hotelio well hotelio in korea doesn't mean that uh, someone who owns a hotel but someone who works for the hotel is hotelio in korean hotelio in korean and as you can guess the ijuno ijuno the main character is from the high position the owner owner of the hotel and they fall in love lovely drama <laughs> Okay, so let's move on. Now let's talk about 영화. 영화. 영화 means film or movie. Film or movie. So first movie that I chose is this. 따란. 범죄도시. 범죄도시. So the English title is the roundup. No way out. But the Korean title is different. 범죄 means crime. 범죄 means crime and 도시, 도시, 도시 means city. So it literally means crime city. <laughs> and do you see number three? That means there is 범죄 도시 one, 범죄 도시 two, and now the three. Three was very popular, but I think the most popular one is was 범죄 도시 two. I watched one and two, but not three yet. <laughs> but you know when. Uh, when there are some Marvel movies or when there are like kind of like Avengers when they uh, release Avengers 1 then it's popular Avengers 2 popular everyone watches it 3 everyone watches <laughs> something like that this series is very popular and the main character is Ma Dong Seok Ma Dong Seok and he's the main character who is a very big guy a strong guy <laughs> who fight very well and he is 경찰 경찰 he is 경찰 <laughs> 경찰 means policeman and as you can guess there is a bad guy the criminal 범인 범인 so 마동석 마동석 arrest the bad guy and actually the fun fun part of this drama is the action action scenes and also some kind of like korean style uh humor <laughs> <laughs> so there are really popular lines from this movie like oh i'm not spoiling it <laughs> i'm not spoiling it so i'm not telling you that but check it out if you want just fun action movie this is a very popular one in korea and next Dara, Bilsu, Bilsu. the english translation is smugglers so it's a people who smuggle right <laughs> but 밀수 doesn't mean people but 밀수 means smuggling it's a noun and it's an action 밀수 so uh, smuggling or the importing something through illegal channels so it's also interesting drama and here you find like many many popular famous Korean actors and actresses such as Kim Hye-su Kim Hye-su and Jo In-sung Jo In-sung, or Yeom Jung-ha, Yeom Jung-ha, Go Min-si, Go Min-si, etc, etc. So, it's a popular one. It's a story of Hae-nyo, Hae-nyo. Do you know what is Hae-nyo? Hae-nyo is a female diver in Korea. Ah, this is swimming, female diver. <laughs> yes, and interesting thing about Hae-nyo, Hae-nyo is that it's not just diving, it's they are first they're female. Henyo is usually only Yeah, only female. Henyo. He means the C and Nyo means a female. So usually long time ago in Korea, uh, male, the men uh, take a boat and get some fish. And female they do the diving and get some seafood. Seafood. So they are Henyo. And this is a very traditional job so you know 100 years ago 200 years ago they didn't have any special equipment equipment to dive so they what they do is they just 
dive without any equipment and they stopped breathing for about like two minutes and I I saw news before, news or documentary or before and some henio can stop breathing for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Isn't that great? So they don't... S they don't... S <laughs> they don't breathe for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes and get lots of seafood. seafood. What are they smuggling? Check out the movie! <laughs> Check out the movie. <laughs> okay, so the next popular movie is this. Daran Seoul Ebum. Actually, this is very popular these days, right now. So you cannot find this movie on Netflix because this is something that you have to watch in the movie theater right now. And my friends are talking about it. Like, yeah, my friends are talking about this like oh we should watch this this is very popular so this one is a big thing in korea right now and Seoul Seoul means it's capital of korea and Ui is kind of like of of and boom means spring so it literally means spring of Seoul spring of Seoul but well it's kind of, it it's just uh, it's not talking about the spring in Seoul, like, ah, the flower, flower blooms. It's, uh, it's not like that. So it's, it's about democracy. Uh, and actually, I cannot see the comments right now. So can you check it, please? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, ah, Yasai Pratsa, yes, Seoul Ebum. Have you ever heard about it? It's a big trend these days. And... We had a dictator in 70th and he was killed. So Korean people are like hoping for democracy. Minjujui, Minjujui democracy, Minjujui. But then there was another dictator. So this one is actually not fiction. This is based on the true story. 실화, 실화, 실화. 실화, 실화 means um, true story. And it's a uh, historical film. So Korean people already knows what will happen and we kind of know uh, some, some things about this, this thing. <laughs> but for foreigners who are not really familiar with the Korean history might think a lot of things. What's going on? <laughs> but this is a very big thing these days. Okay, so let's move on and let's talk about some neologism. It's difficult to pronounce. <laughs> so it's a popular phrase, it's buzzwords in Korea. So first thing is this. Taran. <laughs> Have you ever heard of this expression? Actually, it was popular in 2023 too, but it the first time it got popular is not this year, probably like two years ago or something. But it's a very popular. So Ohiryo. 오히려 means rather and 좋아 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 means um, good <laughs> so it literally means it's rather good so when do we use this expression when we have any so bad thing happened <laughs> bad thing for example ah! <laughs> i broke a, a bottle <laughs> I broke a like water bottle or I broke a flower uh I don't know like I I broke a cup cup bad thing happens ah! but I'm trying to be positive positive in this case oh uh, yeah like like this situation you know bomb <laughs> so I'm trying to stay in positive stay positive even if the best situation bad thing happened like for example, as I just mentioned, I broke a water glass, but I'm saying it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's, it's better because I can buy a better glass. Actually, this glass was too old, so I wanted to change it someday, but wow, I broke it right now. So, it's even better now. <laughs> I can buy a new one, new cool and beautiful glass, better. So. Whenever some bad thing happens, <laughs> we say, oh, rather good, and try to find some good aspects. So it could be worse, but now it's okay. 
It's okay because this has some positive effect. <laughs> okay, so 오히려 좋아 is a popular, popular phrase in Korea. Next, 따란 중꺽마. <laughs> 중꺽마. It's a very difficult word. So, it's short form of 중요한 건 꺾이지 않는 마음. 중요한 건 꺾이지 않는 마음. 중요한 건 means the important thing is, important thing is, what, what's important is 꺾이지 않는 마음. So, 꺾이지 않다 means unbreakable, unbreakable, but, or not broke. <laughs> maum means heart, heart. So, what's important is unbreakable heart. What does it mean? It seems so hard. <laughs> So it just means never give up. I don't give up. So it's talking about uh, your will that saying uh, you will not give up. It's like it, the important thing is my will that will not give up. Something like that. So this phrase is used very often, especially for the sports. Or even esports because esports is also a part of sports these days. So, you know, when you do the sports, um, you don't give up. For example, like when you play in soccer, and like after ten minutes, you are like, "Ah, oh, it's so hard. I give up." It's not a good attitude. <laughs> so very often we talk about we mention this phrase when you don't give up, and many sports player. Use this phrase. 중요한 건 꺾이지 않는 마음. <laughs> what they say is, what they mean is, oh, I will not give up. Yes, I will not give up. And this is popular for young people. I mean, if you say 중요한 건 꺾이지 않는 마음, probably many people will understand what it means. Is uh, it doesn't have direct meaning, but indirectly they can understand. But if you just say 중꺽마 like this. Not many people will understand, especially my parents. I say, Mom, it's 중꺽마. And my mom is like, so what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so this one is used a lot on the internet communities. So if you say 중꺽마 in the daily, daily life with your boss or some people, they might not understand. But this one, yeah, it, many people understand this. And Practice, 맞아요. Quality, 맞아. 항상 화이팅. Always cheer up. Always go for it. 야사이 잘했어요. <laughs> and thank you, Stoa. That's a very nice message. <laughs> okay, so we have the last message. Ta-da! So let's look at the next page, which is ta-da! 중꺼그마. 중꺼그마. Again, as you can guess, if you use this one in daily life, not many people will understand. <laughs> but this one, well, people will still understand. So, 중요한 건 꺾여도 그냥 하는 마음. So, the previous phrase was too popular. So, this one is kind of extended version. <laughs> extended version. So, 중요한 건, what's important is 그냥 just 하는 마음. So, 꺾여도, 꺾여도, even if... Uh, you are broken. Even if uh, things are not going well, 그냥 하는 말, you just keep going. You just keep going. So what's important is keeping uh, going even if in difficult time. 중요한 건, 중요한 건 꺾여도 그냥 하는 마음. So it means exactly the same. Never give up. Keep going what you are doing right now. Um, yeah, because there are difficult times. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> so it's never give up. So 중꺾그마, 중요한 건 꺾여도 그냥 하는 마음. So thank you for watching all these slides. Ooh, great. So, 짠, so far, do you have any questions? I tried to answer your questions, so hopefully it was okay. And if you still have some question, let me know in the comment of Korean Class 101 YouTube channel or Facebook account. I check and answer you. <laughs> and ta-da! We have homework for you. So what happened in your country in 2023? 
could you let me know? If you are intermediate and advanced learners, please let me know in Korean, in Korean, so you can practice your Korean sentences. If you are a beginner, I have a question for you. What was your favorite Korean drama or movie? Let me know in Korean. <laughs> so, uh, you can leave a comment on Korean Class 101 YouTube channel or Facebook account. Or if you personally want me to check, ah, I think you now know my Instagram account. So let me know, tag me, then I check and leave a comment for you. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much everyone. And before leaving, I want to say this. Please don't forget to get this. Daran, cool words ebook. It contains 2,000 words and phrases. Actually, if you know 2,000 Korean words, you won't have any big problem in communicating with native Korean people. I mean, native Korean people might use more difficult words that are not appear in this book, but you can ask, oh, sorry, can you say that in easy words or can you uh, explain it in different way? And they will use easier words and I'm pretty sure those words will be included here. So you will be achieving the full uh, Korean fluency. Mm. At least you will reach the conversational level. You can have a conversation with Korean people and you will feel comfortable when you talk with them. <laughs> so thank you very much everyone. And of course I'll be back next year. Uh, not next year. <laughs> of course I'll be back next year too, but next week too. <laughs> next week. Next week's topic is Korean adverbs of degree. Yes, do you know how to say that really a lot, very much, too much in Korean? Actually, there are many, many, many Korean words for that. So let's talk about that next week. And it will be very important because you use a very word. It's so cold. It's very cold. It's, it's too cold. <laughs> like this, you use so too very a lot in English. And same in Korean, we use these words a lot. So I'll be, I'll be seeing you next week at 1 p.m. in Korean time, which means the time will be different in your country. So check out. Clock, clock. <laughs> Make sure to check your time. <laughs> so thank you everyone. So I'll see you next Thursday, December 28th. 감사합니다. Oops. 감사합니다. 다음 주에 봐요. Bye bye. Uh, God Emperor Stoa, Sumi Party, Trevon KD, a wannabe Pratisha, Emily, Kwati, and